Mr. I'll buy your roses If you cut off the thorn She can't take no more I'll buy violets and daisies To hide all the crazy It's gonna take all you got Oh, it's a bad day for love But a good day for flowers Hey there, friends. How's it going? Uh, David Potts with Songo here. I'm going to do a quick lesson on this song, Flower Shops, by Ernest uh, featuring Morgan Wallen. It's been stuck in my head uh, three days ago. The bug bit me. It's been on repeat. And as it goes, got to put this out there for you. So I do have the sheet music for you. It's a three-page arrangement. This gives you everything you need to know to follow along with this video lesson, right? All the lyrics are on page one. Um, on the second and third page, I'll show you uh, the sort of the chord shapes you'll need, the chord progressions, two different strumming patterns. And I'll also show you uh, two different ways to look at the intro. You can do the sort of basic version, which I recommend starting with and then I have the exact tab for what you hear they play on the album version. I also have the solo that Ernest plays in the live acoustic version tabbed out for you and some of the melody notes for the opening phrases of the song tabbed out as well if you want to work on your uh, you know your vocal sort of imitation like I'm doing. I can't sing like either of these guys but it's such a fun song to play. But yeah with that said let's dive in uh, jump right in that intro and learn this song Flower Shops. All right y'all so let's kick this one off looking right at that intro which is so fun to play. Uh, so the chords you're going to need for this uh, these two chord shapes are effectively the main part of the Intro, right? We have this G and what I'm calling a C over G, right? Some folks call this a G sus. Um, I call it a C over G because basically these two fingers, I think it helps to look at it this way. These are basically what you have in a C major chord, right? With your middle and index, but your ring finger, instead of being on a C bass note, is going to be on a G bass note, right? So it's almost like a C with a G bass note. That's why we call it a C over G. And we're going to keep our pinky down here in the left, um, the, the third fret of the thinnest string. So here's the deal. Start off with this G, and I recommend playing the G with your ring finger here and your pinky on the thinnest string. So they're both on the third fret, right? And what I'm doing is I'm sort of leading my ring finger into the fifth string. So that's why I have that X there for the uh, for the, the A string, right? Because you're not really pushing down on the fifth string. And what we're going to do then for the C over G is just add those two fingers, like I said, second fret of the fourth string and first fret of the second string, right? So this is a great little fun thing to practice. You strum all six strings. You use this in tons of songs. This is a great way to add flourish to any G chord in general, okay? So the intro is based on these on these two chord shapes for the most part. So the, the simple way to look at the intro, I'll get to an advanced tab later for it to show you exactly what they play, but the, the, the sort of building blocks to get you 80% of the way there is you're gonna go from this G to the C over G, back to the G, okay? And then here, we're gonna go, all right? Easier than you think. The way to think about this is, you know that C over G? I want you to take off your ring and pinky fingers, but keep these two fingers here, okay? And either with your fingers or your pick, just strum the second, third, and fourth string, okay? Again, this is where your fingers would be for a C anyway. And then take those two fingers and slide them up two frets. So they're on the fourth and third fret. You leave the, th uh, the fourth string open. And then we go back down to that sort of C position for those two fingers. And then we put these two fingers back to the G. And go back to the G, okay? So we have our G, our C over G, back to our G. And then if you can slide up, like sort of play them when they're on the first and second fret, go to third and fourth fret, go back down to first and second, and then go back to your G. Right, now you don't have to do the slide if it's giving you trouble. You can just go right up here to third and fourth, come back down to first and second, and then pluck those three strings again open, and then do your full G. So the whole intro, if you play it like that, is G, C over G, G. Then you go to G, C over G, and then you end on a G. Okay, so I would recommend just spend some time with this, right? You want to get comfortable with these chord shapes, be able to go to the C over G, back to the G, and then do that little rundown right there. Okay, so it's all tabbed out for you here, and hopefully that helps. That's what you're going to need for the intro, the simple version of it. Now, about the advanced, like, full version of the intro, I have it in my tab, my sheet music tabbed out here. This is what you hear in the album version. This is a lot trickier, but I'll show you what it sounds like if you want to play it. Basically, you want to keep the accent on the one and the four count, but you want to add these brushy little strums on the third and fourth strings. Right? 
So that again, I have that tabbed out. You can get that in the sheet music. It is a nice way to sort of sound exactly like the album version, but don't get caught up in that initially. Just do that basic version. Even watching Ernest play this with the live uh, version he did with Morgan Wallen, Ernest isn't even bothering with that slide up stuff, right? He's just kind of going between the, the G and the C over G. That's all you really need. Okay, so that'll do you for the intro. Beyond that, let's look at the verse. So we'll need a few more chords here. So the good part is none of these are too crazy, right? We have our A minor seven. Now A minor seven, it's actually just an A minor, but we're gonna take off the third string. So we have basically open second, open first, open, right? It's uh, sort of like a C, but instead of putting your ring finger here, you're leaving that fifth string open. Okay, that's your A minor seven. We'll have a regular D, right? I also use a D seven, and you can hear that in the album version at the end of each verse right before the chorus starts, right? So regular D and D7 are two uh, two chords you can use here. And then, now there's a D over F sharp because they're doing this walk down from a G to a D over F sharp to a D minor. Now here's the deal. If you can't do the D over F sharp, don't worry about it. Just use a regular D, you'll be fine, okay? Um, but if you can, I play it basically just doing a D and then I sort of wrap my thumb around, get that second fret on the low E string. And then you're going to your E minor. So your E minor, all six strings, right? Open, second, second, open, open, open. All right, now we know the chords. Let's look at the verse and the chorus and the bridge. And I'm going to start off showing you the chord progressions that each of these sections uses and a simple beginner strum, because I don't want you to jump into that full strum if, if you're just sort of getting used to things right now. The simple beginner strum, right? Six, eight time. We have six counts per measure. But what we want to do is give the one count and the four count the, the accent, the emphasis. And with the beginner strum, we'll just do a down strum on the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is all we're gonna use at first, right? This teaches us the order of the chords, it helps us get used to the transitions, and we can sing along. So let me sing through the first verse and first chorus and bridge, doing a down strum on every one count and every four count, and I'm gonna follow this progression you see on here, right? You just read the lines left to right, top to bottom. It's just like reading something, okay? So um, I'll sing for context, and then later I'll show you how to do the full strumming pattern and uh, make it sound like more like the album. So the first verse. It's a beautiful day, she's been crying all night, oh, there's tears in her blue, bloodshot in mine. This bender's been bending, it's hell brown to break, and we switch to D7's hat, all she can take. That last line of the verse there, I have let ring because you kind of want to strum the D7 on the one count and let it ring. Don't strum it on the four. But what you can do is do a, I just plucked all the strings in the chord, fourth, third, second, first, and uh, that's let that ring out and you'll be good to end the verse. Now the chorus, A minor to D, and then we're gonna do this walk down a few times. So, so Mr. I'll take your A minor seven, four, five, six, D two, if you cut off, the G, she D to E minor, right? I'll buy a minor seven and daisies to D, all the crazy, it's G take, D over F sharp, E minor, four, five, six, play seven minor, day for love, and a D day full flower shot, C over G and G. So that ends the chorus. Now the bridge, is basically the same thing as the last two lines of the chorus, right? Uh, roses are red and violets are blue and I don't want one, I want one million two. A minor seven, four, five, six, D, two, three, four, five, six, G, to C over G, G, two, three, four, five, six. That's all you're gonna need. So you could use a simple strumming pattern. You can play the whole song like that. Now, let me show you the, the, the more advanced strum here is gonna be a down, up, 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 one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five. The tip I have for this, whether you have a pick or your fingers, is you wanna keep the accent on the one and the four count, right? One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, on those up down ups, I'm sort of just brushing the thinnest strings, right? You don't want every strum to be equal because then it just sounds overbearing. And this is a real song about delicacy, right? So you could do that. Um, and let me play through that, right? I'll do the second verse. Well, I took some pills and she took the 
dogs, oh, it's all gone to hell. She's gone to her mom's, and I took a drink and since she took the time. She's seven to tell me the best years of her life. I can't sing that high in the chorus. So, buddy, I'll take your roses. If you cut off the thorn, she can't take no more. I'll buy violets and daisies to hide all the crazy it's gonna take. All you got is a tough day for love, but a good day for flowers. So there we have the strum. Whether you use a beginner strum or the, uh, the the full strum, you'll be in good shape there. Okay. Now a quick other things while I have you here. Um, there's a solo in the live acoustic version that Morgan and um, Ernest play, right? <laughs> I have it tabbed out here for you. Basically, it's you look on page one of my sheet music, you see it mapped out. It's A minor seven, two, three, four, five, six to D, two, three, four, five, six, G, D minor, two, three, four. Then you go to the bridge. Roses are red, violets are blue. I don't need one. So the the chorus he plays or the solo he plays. Um, a little quick summary here is you're going to be using the G major scale, right? He's going to start off here. Right? 7, 5, 7, 5 on the 6th, um, 5th, and 4th string. I have the finger markings in my PDF, my sheet music. Right? 9, 5, 7, 7 on the 4th string. And then you have these double stops, right? So those, the, the handy part about these is they're all two frets away. We have seven and five, nine and seven, five and four is the one that's one fret away, and then two and four. So you kind of have to just get used to go up and down the fretboard like this. You can use your ring and index finger there. Get used to this. This is like your vocabulary. These are the words, the shapes you're using, right? Then you sort of... So uh, that's there for you. It's tabbed out in my sheet music as well. And the last thing I'll show you really quick is if you're like me and you have a hard time singing or like hearing the notes, I do have the verse melody notes for the first couple lines of the verse. I'm not doing it for the entire song, but this helped me just sort of understand what I had to sing, right? So for example, it's a beautiful day. She's been crying all night. There's tears in Bloodshot in mind. This bender's been breaking. It's hell bound to break. My da 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 da. Right? You could do it for the whole song like that. It's all in a G major scale, and I'm showing you these initial notes, these initial phrases, so you can basically. You can sort of use those to match what you're singing against. And if you also want to just practice your sort of, you know, uh, lead guitar basically using the G major scale, that's there as well. I just wanted to call that out. Some of you has, have asked for the melody notes um, for the first line of the song in my sheet music. So I wanted to include that one uh, for this just in case that's helpful. I know for me learning to sing this, it's been it's been pretty good. So um, that's basically what you'll need. You got the intro, a basic version, the more advanced version. You got the solo, you got those melody notes, a couple strumming patterns and the chord progressions. So now let me just sing a little bit of it to play it out. and. Um, you can uh, hopefully find this helpful. So thanks all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. It's a beautiful day. She's been crying all night. Oh, there's tears in the blue. Bloodshot mind. This bender's been bending. Hell bound to break 
My baby's had all she can take Mister, I'll take your rose If you cut off the thorn She can't take no more I'll buy violets and daisies To hide all the crazy It's gonna take Well, I took some pills and she took the dog. Oh, it's all gone to hell. She's gone to her mom. And I took up drinking since she took the time to tell me I took the best years of her life. So, buddy, I'll take your roses. If you cut off the thorn, she can't take no more. I'll buy violets and daisies to hide all the crazy. It's gonna take all you got. Oh, it's a tough day for love, but a good day for flowers. Mr. I'll take your roses If you cut off the thorn She can't take no more I'll buy violets and daisies To hide all the crazy It's gonna take all you got Oh, it's a bad day for love But a good day Full flower will shine. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. You made it to the end. I hope you found this helpful. I got to record the intro now. My guitar just went out of tune. Yeah, thanks again. If you watched this far, you're a true fan. Um, I really appreciate it. Hope you found this helpful. Um, sheet music's on my website. I got the membership over on Patreon. If you want to get access to my instructional PDFs and you want to support me, uh, that, that, that money keeps the lights on around here. So I really appreciate it. Let me record this intro and get this edited and posted. And uh, that way folks like you can watch it and you're already watching it. So you're living in the future. All right.